Adam Lerner, BrooklynPhotoWorks.com, and today we are in Lightroom, and I want to share with you guys some advanced editing techniques that I like to use when I'm editing, and I'm also going to go through it when I use the keyboard shortcuts to even enhance my workflow, and hope it helps you as well. So this is a 1964 Fiat Multipla, which is this tiny little Fiat that's actually a four-door car that is smaller than a Volkswagen Bug, if you can actually believe it. This one's been beautifully restored, and I had the chance to shoot it, and here's the image. You guys know how much I love to crush ambient light, so I lit this thing and got that background to crush, but there's still some elements of this background that I find to be displeasing. There's little things going on back here that I don't want to see. There's lights in the ceiling, there's stuff on the wall. I want to get rid of that. So the very first thing that I'm going to do before I even go in there is I'm going to clean it up. Now, when I say that I'm going to clean it up, what that means is that I like to start with a very clean image. So I try to shoot my images to have the least amount of editing possible, not because I don't like editing, but I don't want to shoot for Photoshop. I do shoot because I do understand that when I shoot, I am going to edit, and that is definitely part of the creative process, but I don't want to shoot something that's a complete mess and then have to just spend all of my time cleaning up that image. So what I'm going to do with you guys is I'm taking you through the cleanup process first before I even get into the actual editing. All right, so here we go. Very first thing I want to do is I want to change the angle of this car. So I'm going to hit the R key, and that's going to take me into the cropping and straightening tool, and I'm just going to use the arrow key here and I'm going to change the angle, and I'm trying to get the wheels to line up on the ground as they should as the car sits normally. Boom. And I'm going to hit the R key again. Now, as you guys can see, I didn't even look at the values there because to me it's not the, about the values and the numbers, it's about the look and the feel. Perfect. Okay, great. So now what I want to do is I want to get rid of these two fluorescent light fixtures in the ceiling because obviously we don't want to see those. So I'm going to use the spot removal tool by going and hitting the Q key. I'm going to grab this guy right here, and I'm going to grab this guy right here. Boom. Okay, great. So the spots are removed, and the car is level. Terrific. Now what I want to do is I want to eliminate this background. As crushed as it is, we need to crush this background even further. So I'm going to hit the K key to get into the brush tool, and before I even start affecting the um, or applying any kind of adjustment to this, I'm going to paint into the area here, and I'm going to use the overlay, which is by hitting the O button, and that's going to show me where my brush is going to be overlaid into this image here, so that I know that once I actually affect my brush, I will know what areas are affected. So I'm just going to gently go in through here, and you know, I've got auto masking on, but it's not really picking up the edges of this thing as much as I would like them to. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of cleanup once we get in there. And that's only going to take me a second, and I'm going to show you guys how that's done. Just bear with me for this process here. It's a little tedious. You can do it. You can do it. Come on. Let's get rid of this guy here. Let's get rid of this. Anything that is not turning completely red, I do not want to see. So I'm just going to paint it in there like that. I'm just going to go around, make sure I get all the areas that need to be affected first. Terrific. Okay, great. Now, you guys can see that there are areas in here that, that the overlay is sitting on that I don't want to be affected. So I'm going to hit the Option or Alt key, and I'm going to erase my overlay. Just simply by just kind of following the edge, the contour of the car. It's going very smoothly on here. I'm not getting too crazy fine detailed on this, but I just really want to make sure that I can start with a clean reference point once I apply my brush. Cool. All right, might just need to go in here a little bit tighter, like there, just to get rid of that little piece of radiator, whatever that thing is. Great. Okay, so now that I've got my overlay, and my brush painted, and I'm going to get rid of the overlay, and I'm going to just take my exposure, boom, crush it down to zero. Look at that. Look at that background. That background is nice and crushed. Turn off my brush key, and there we go. That is a really nice starting point. Now, I kind of also want to maybe just darken the floor over here a little bit. So I'm going to hit my brush tool again, and in this case, I'm going to set the flow a little bit lower because I do not want to affect it as much. I'm going to bring it down to maybe 50%, and I'm just going to paint this in here like this. Let's get the overlay key on. We can see where I'm painting it, and you guys can see it's much fainter now. And that means it's going to be a little bit less affected because I do not want 
to affect my foreground as much. Great. Ah, see, I overdid it. I overshot it. So I'm just going to erase where I overshot it. Okay, you see how that goes? Boom. Nice. Let's just clean. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's not bad right there. Okay, great. So I'm going to turn my overlay off. And now I'm just going to bring my highlights down a little bit on this floor. Just a little bit like that. I'm going to add a little bit of contrast to the floor. And I'm going to add some clarity. Yeah, there we go. Just to bring out the, the, the sheen, because it's really nice. It kind of just adds a little bit of depth to it. Great. Turning off my brush key like that. And now what I want to do is now I want to actually go in and, and affect my exposure. Okay. So I feel like it's a little bit flat, so I'm going to add some clarity to it. That's going to boost my midtones. That's pretty cool. That's really nice. And I think that maybe I could just bring up the white point just a hair. So I'm going to hold down the Option key, and you can see the areas that are a little bit overexposed. Well, those are the ones that are popping out. I'm not too concerned about those. Okay, great. Let's just look at the before and after. That's the before. That's the after. Now it's got a lot of vibe. It's got a lot of like presence to it. Really cool. I might just bring my highlights down just a hair, and I can also do that by holding down the Option key. I can crush my highlights, but then the car looks like, like, like hell. So I'm just going to bring my highlights down just like just a little bit, just a little bit, just to get some of that edge detail out of there, something like that. The white balance, it seems like it's a little bit yellowish. So I'm just going to go in here and I'm just going to dial this thing down. Even just a little bit like that to me looks a lot better. I'm very happy with that. And, um, and there we go. I think that that's probably where I'm going to leave you guys for now. All right, guys, so there it is, okay? I don't know, maybe some of you guys don't do the cleanup first, maybe you do the cleanup second. I like to start with the image cleaned up first and get rid of all those distractions. If the image is a little bit you know, off kilter, I wanna straighten that image up. If there's a couple of little blemishes that need to be pulled out that are distracting, I want those out of there. And then I can focus on the edit. So there you have it. That's advanced Lightroom editing. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below, and we'll see you soon.